Welcome to Toro NSN's Training in 10, an innovative, self-paced training module that allows you to get trained and get going. Today's topic is a review and setup of TurfGuard. While this presentation is shown in Lynx 2.1 version, the principles apply to all versions of Lynx and Sight Vision. Covered in this training in 10 is the adding of a turf guard sensor and setup of your turf guard system. Looking at the preference screen as well as the device properties. Today we are working in a Lynx central irrigation control system. To navigate to the turf guard here, all you have to do is click on the turf guard icon. Within the turf guard section, we have several tabs. Since we are discussing the setup and addition of a turf guard sensor, we will start by going to the preference tab here. If you are a first time user of turf guard, in your Lynx operating system, it will ask you for your username and password. Many times your distributor will already have this set up for you when you get the system. If it is not, please give NSN Phone Support a call at 1-800-ASK-TORO and one of our technicians will be glad to assist you in the setup. You can check the login by clicking on Change Login. This screen will show you your course name and the username that has been inputted. The password is blocked out. If the course name or the username is not correct, again, please give the phone support a call at one 800 ask toro within this screen we can set up some basic information such as the polling interval the default is set at five minutes it is recommended to not have a polling interval less than five minutes due to the amount of data that is moving through make sure you have set the correct postal code here to allow the system to operate properly. You can set up the system to look at the sensors by grouped areas or zones. We can change or add areas and zones by clicking on configure the areas and zones. On this smaller screen we can add or modify new areas and zones. We can add them by clicking on Add Area or Add Zone. Then we can modify or add the names under Name on Area or the Name on Zone. It is important to leave some of the defaults as they are. That will help you in the future to run your system. Once you have finished adding and changing, please click on the X on this small box to close. You will need to close and restart either Sight Vision or Lynx to update these changes. Let's move on to add a new sensor to our system. Now click on the Device Property tab next to preferences. To add a new sensor to the system, all you have to do is click on new to add that sensor. A screen will open and you will need to enter the sensor ID node found on the sensor. Once you have added that information, click done. This will now allow you to add additional data for that sensor. To start with, 
Let's click on the drop down next to Zone. Select the correct zone you are placing the sensor in. Now click on the drop down next to Area. Now select the area you are placing this sensor in. It is highly recommended to give this new sensor a description in this location. Here I have placed the description as back 5 green. The placement description becomes very important. You will need to mark the sensor prior to aerification to avoid damage to that sensor. Also, if you need to replace the battery, it is good to know where this sensor is located. It is recommended to measure the sensor from a minimum of two sprinklers. However, it is better to utilize three measurements so that you can triangulate to find the sensor. Once you have finished the addition of this information, then click Apply. Now that the basic setup of the new sensor is completed, you will need to hit OK. Also, once you have hit OK, it will be important to close and restart either Sight Vision or Links. Now let's look at setting the thresholds for the new sensor. You will need to drill down to that specific sensor utilizing the plus here. You will need to continue to drill down through the zone or the area to find the sensors. Now select the specific sensor you want to set. You can set the different thresholds for that sensor, either that of moisture, temperature, or salinity. Where should these be set? Every facility is different and locations and environments within each facility vary greatly. To set the thresholds, you can either type the number directly here or you can utilize the slide bar to set them as well. The moisture at this facility is set between 10 and 30 percent. It was found that at my facility, I saw turf moisture stress at 8%. This varies greatly between facilities. At mine, I set the threshold just above so I could avoid the stress. You can set the temperature and salinity thresholds the same way. On the dashboard, if a sensor is out of range, either above or below the thresholds, you will get an alert. This alert indicates that the moisture is out of range. I can now decide whether I need to irrigate or not. Also, I could set up the salinity on whether I needed to flush or not, or the temperatures, whether I needed to cool or avoid irrigation. Future training and TENS will address how to integrate TurfGuard into the Lynx irrigation control system. Well, another 10 minutes has gone by, and you have just completed another episode of NSN's Training and TEN. Today's topic has been TurfGuard addition of a sensor. We hope that this training in 10 was helpful for you to better understand this helpful tool and that it helps further enhance your career of working with the TurfGuard system. Be sure to keep looking for future installments of NSN's Training in 10. The self-paced training module that allows you to get trained 
and get going. If you have any questions about this or about future training module releases, or if you'd like to participate in one of our acclaimed Toro NSN regional training classes, please contact us by calling 888-676-8676, option 2. Once again, that's 888-676-8676. 8676 option 2 Toro NSN training also invites you to follow us on Twitter so that you can get the latest updates of where we're at what we're doing and the new training opportunities for you to participate in you can find us at twitter.com forward slash at Toro NSN training and send a request to follow Toro and Toro's National Support Network. Count on it.